Hey everyone, November's come and gone. Time to shave off this beard. Today we'll be using my uh, Vacker 6 Ace Barbier's Bride. And we'll be leathering up with Hendrix Classics Bay Rum. Using my AP Shave Cashmere Knot brush. And without further ado, let me lather up off camera and we'll get going. And we're back. Here we go. I believe this is a full hollow grind racer. Evident by the singing you can hear as it cuts through the hair. Been a little while since I used a straight to cut through this much growth. So I figured I find full hollow grind a little bit easier to work with, so that's why I decided to chose this since I'm a little rusty. Nothing plows right through all this growth like a straight razor. Or a shavet. There's nothing to clog. Got a good edge on it, just plows right through it. And we got a good edge on this one. I'm also going to shorten up this sideburn too. So let's go by here. There we go. Really love the way this razor cuts. Only thing I'm not a fan of, I'm not a big fan of uh, the thumb notch. I like razors that have a straight tang, and I don't usually use the thumb notch, so I'm grabbing it kind of funny, you know, kind of like this. I'm not even in the thumb notch. But other than that, it's a not a big concession to make. I can, I love the razor. I did have a really nice Dovo Bismarck. It was a Bismarck II which was black. With sort of gold colored lettering on it, beautiful razor, but that the thumb notch on that one was just way too pronounced. And as nicely as it shaved, I just didn't like it and I sold it. Okay, we'll rinse and re-lather off camera here. Be right back. And we're back again for pass number two. I do find that if I'm out of practice, especially if I'm 
doing a large amount of growth, which I don't do terribly often, I don't usually grow my beard out, that something like a, a quarter hollow or a, a near wedge type straight razor, a little less forgiving, don't flex as much. And I'm a little more prone to nicking myself or getting weepers. So I love the hollow ground for that reason. Full hollow. Extra hollow is even better. For that purpose, that is. Not shaving a large amount of growth. I prefer the quarter hollows. Not that I mind the full hollows or the extra hollows, but I prefer the uh, quarter hollow and closer to being a wedge type razors for, uh, you know, uh, a typical maintenance or daily shave, even though I don't shave daily. As you could say, I find the uh, quarter hollows and near wedge type razors a little more efficient for that type of shaving. All right, we did okay on pass number two. Once again, I'll lather up off camera for pass number three. Stay tuned. And we're back for pass number three. Necks are always tricky, especially trying to go against the grain. I don't really have a consistent grain on my neck, but 
what I do have is kind of like a sideways thing. Really hard to move a straight razor sideways along your neck. I'm give myself a little more leather over here. Starting to dry up on me. Humidity's a little lower this time of year. Uh, we get a little something here that's a little mole that I nicked. No big deal. All right, ready for post shave. Got a ton of lather left on this knot. Sometimes what I do is I found this soap has a really good post shave feel to it, so. Just for grins, I don't know if it has any real benefit, but I'll brush it on the face. And wipe it off before applying aftershave. I have no idea if this has any benefit, just something I feel like I'm wasting the lather if I don't do something with it. So there you have it. Whoops. I have had occasions where I'll do just this, blot it dry, and then don't do any post shave. But today I won't be doing that. Some of these are more skin friendly soaps. So we can get a nice smooth shave without any irritation. They seem to take well to doing that. This is one of them that's worked for me. Certain scents, certain fragrance oils or essential oils, I guess, will might potentially uh, not be good for that, but this has worked for me. So, uh, we our lather was the Hendrix Classic uh, Bay Rum. What I would normally do uh, is I would use the unscented balm with the Bay Rum scent oil. Um, I will do that eventually, but I've just recently picked up the, um, the tiger milk, he calls it. That's the splash with the, uh, the Bay Rum scent. So I'll be trying this for the first time. Henrik's Classic has kind of, whoops, turned me from more of a splash guy into more of a balm guy, but, um, I do occasionally use splashes. So we'll go ahead and drip some of this on, see how we feel. Nice bay rum scent. And a little bit of an alcohol sting, nothing crazy. Feels pretty good. It feels like a fairly skin-friendly splash too. It's 
a little bit of an oiliness to it. Alright, I also picked up on the same Black Friday sale the um, EDP of the, uh, the Bay Rum. So we'll be trying that for the first time. The girlfriend really likes the Bay Rum out of all the scent oils from Hendrix I've uh, introduced her to. She seems to like that the best. So I will let that splash is kind of soaked in. Go with some balm here. I'll go with like a little, not a very big squirt, kind of a less is more kind of thing. Maybe at this point it's almost redundant scenting it because of the splash, but I'll put a couple of drops, three drops. I do find that the bomb gives me the best results in terms of uh, healing from a close shave like we have today. All right. All right, we are feeling good. Gonna get changed, get ready to hit the head out of the house, put on some of my uh, new EDP and try that out and see how that works out. Thanks for watching. Everyone have a good one.